Welcome back to another Vex Robotics video. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the controversies with the field. People have gotten their fields, and there's a lot to talk about with all these different clips of just people calling it poorly designed and whatnot. And there's also the rule manual that people are um, very mad at, but we're not going to be talking about that because that is a whole different thing. So today, we're going to talk about the field, starting with this first clip from 355Z. And there's another one as well, so I'm going to kind of group them together here, both dealing with the middle goals and it being able to descore every single block in the tube in one push and that's a very 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 big deal because let's say you and your teammate have controlled both the middle and you're gonna now go par double park because you can do that both go in there because it's a for sure double park you go to double park then you'll be up 30 points plus whatever you got in the middle but if the one bot on the other side, D scores the top and then scores all their color in the top. It is one point less than double parking. It's 29 for a full top middle and the bonus. And then it's 30 for the parking, which is insane, insanely big, which makes parking kind of useless. But... That is huge. So I think this is more of a mechanic we should be looking at. It's like, how do we use this in our strategy rather than uh, that's poorly designed? I don't know if it's meant to be that way. It is very quick to de-score all of it. But that means you have to use good defense, and that's going to come in with strategy. And so I think that's going to be my overarching thing for this is let's use these problems and use them as more of a design challenge that we can use to our advantage. Um, if there's rules that are changed, well, then that's a thing. But I think people are just being overly critical about it. I think this is an interesting feature that kind of forces you to choose between parking and scoring and protecting and all that. I think there is an interesting strategies that can be developed from that. But anyways, moving on to our next clip, there's the match loading zone. And on the match loading, uh, not zone, but tube, you can throw down the block and and this in the there's a video here I have of it throwing down a block and it popping right out. There's also one of Luke's. It's a little different. They throw two down at a time and uh, one pops out. I think I don't remember both actually. It might, but the same concept, right? Um, yeah, Luke posted a video. Go check that out because lots of good insight there. Um, but both of us have a similar of clips of this. Um, so this block falls down the tube, pops out, and that is. It kind of defeats the purpose, right? But also, we're missing things. Lots of people are talking about, like, man, this is poorly designed, but you're missing the fact these are supposed to be against the wall. And when they're against the wall, there's a little piece that pokes out that holds the nut so you can screw it in. And that kind of stops the block from being able to bounce off the back of the um, landing circle and pop out. So I think that's very, so very interesting. And something we have to think about is every time these clips appear, from Luke's video, from the one I have, and from everything else going around, they're always in the middle of the field, not connected at all, without the proper accessories. So that's very important to mention. I think people are just are looking over that, overlooking that, and just focusing on how easy it is to do this. So I think when it's attached to the wall, it's going to be a bit harder to do this, and it's not going to be every time. So I, th I don't think this will actually be a problem. And then the last clip is one of people trying to score on the tube, and they score like three or two, and then after they score another, and it pops out one other. So they can't score more than like three in the tube at a time. That's bad. <laughs> that's just because um, then you can't fill it up. So I think that's going to pose an interesting challenge because you have to be able to slow your intake down. And you have to be intake fast, but you also have to be able to slow it down and... So that's going to pose an interesting challenge when we're out there making the robots. You can't just have a super fast intake and score really fast. You have to kind of design it in a certain way to where it won't pop them all out. So I don't. I think this may have been an intentional design. It's hard for me to believe that Vex spent two years making this game and there's so many design flaws with it. I just have a hard time believing that. So I think this is more of a, th a challenge that we're supposed to take and improve upon. So I think... That's really what's going on here, and I think it's going to come down to people just having to learn how to make a new intake system work, whether it's with an indexer or slowing it down, whatever. 
But all in all, I think these are all minor details, and they seem like poorly designed field, but no, I don't think so. I think they're just um, interesting ways to play the game, and it might change. I don't know. We're going to have to see. I think um, we'll see how this goes. There's also the concern of the field breaking. I don't know. I feel like the plastic was pretty strong. It's not like poly or something. And then the metal seems strong, too. It's just going to... I might have to see how Mall of America goes because that's a whole signature event. See how if those fields break. But all in all, I think it's going to be fine. I think people are just uh, getting a bit uh, caught up on all the little details. Um, but I, I think that pushback's going to be a fun game and it's uh, not, we don't have to worry about these field things. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's about it, I think.